free speech is the mechanism by which we keep our society functioning. Woo! Here, here. It's, it's, in, it's as a consequence of free speech and the ability to speak that people can put their finger on problems, articulate what those problems are, solve them, and come to a consensus. Woo! And we risk losing that. The College of Psychologists, a bunch of people put in power by the government basically, is threatening to take my dad's psychology license because he's been criticizing the government. I think the only chance for the members of the tribunal that are investigating Dr. Peterson is the fact that he's probably the best person to cure them of what ails them. Freedom of speech, like many people have said, is one of the, if not the most important rights because it protects every other right. Anybody who exposes the truth becomes their target. David Menzies for Rebel News here in Toronto and folks talk about psychological warfare. You see, I'm standing outside the College of Psychologists of Ontario where a pro-Jordan Peterson protest is taking place. Now you see, Dr. Peterson is essentially being persecuted by this college for political wrong thought. I know that sounds incredible, but Dr. Peterson took to Twitter earlier this month to lay out the case against them. The Ontario College of Psychologists has demanded that I submit myself to mandatory social media communication retraining with their experts for, among other crimes, retweeting Pierre Polyev and criticizing Justin Trudeau and his political allies. I am to take a course of such training with reports documenting my progress or face an in-person tribunal and suspension of my right to operate as a licensed clinical psychologist. About a dozen people from all over the world submitted complaints about my public statements on Twitter and Rogan over a four year period out of the 15 million people who follow me on social media, claiming that I had harmed people, not them, with my views. And so it is folks that Dr. Peterson's colleagues believe this man has to be reprogrammed. I mean, how Orwellian is that? And keep in mind, these complaints launched against Dr. Peterson, it has nothing to do with current or former patients speaking out about inappropriate behavior. No, it's just people online objecting to what he's posted. Well, this is an incredible affront to free speech and that's why these people are here. They're taking a stand against this college. Why don't we talk to them and see what they have to say? Dr. Peterson is a God-gifted leader. Um, it's not what they're saying what it is, it is him standing for truth. And that's what brings me out here today is I'm standing behind a man, I'm standing with a man that stands for truth. And we have to do it or else we have no free speech. We have nothing to stand on. If we lose this, what do we have left? I don't believe that the College of Psychiatrists or whatever it is has any right to deny him his free speech because he, didn't even, he wasn't even speaking in a professional capacity. He was speaking his own personal political beliefs, which had nothing to do with his practice in psychology. I fully support uh, uh, Professor uh, Peterson. I've been following his, uh, his, I guess his work, you could call it, since, what, two years now we've been? Two, three years uh, since we, the pronoun thing came out. The Ontario Human Rights Commission explicitly states that refusing to refer to a person by their self-identified name and proper personal pronoun, which is the pronouns that I was objecting to, uh, can be can be interpreted as harassment and so that's an exp that's explicitly defined in the relevant policies um, so I think that's appalling first of all because there hasn't been a piece of legislation that requires Canadians to utter a particular form of address that has particular ideological implications before and I think that it's a line that we shouldn't cross. I think the only chance for the members of the tribunal that are investigating Dr. Peterson is the fact that 
he's probably the best person to cure them of what ails them. They do like to act like that they are our mothers telling us what to do, how to think, what to think, what to say, what not to say. It's an absurdity. Jordan Peterson uh, changed my life. He uh, helped me uh, in my teenage years uh, to understand the world. He's helped a lot of my friends. I think that he's inspired a, a generation of uh, men and women to, uh, you know, qu question authority, question like what's going on in this world, and that's okay to do. Like we have the right, as uh, critical thinking people, to be able to, uh, you know, think and have debates with people. The government has done a lot to take away people's rights in every way possible, and we're here to, you know, protect and defend free speech. And there's a quote that I love. I believe it's by the philosopher Voltaire. And it's, uh, I may not agree with what you say, but I will defend to the, to the death your right to say it. They want to impose their radical leftist ideology. And, you know, that's why they need to suppress freedom of speech, because they know that we will win if we can debate. They don't want us to debate them. They don't want us to expose them. And we need to use our words. We need to express our opinions. That's, uh, that's being in a free country. But you know what? We're here today in support of Dr. Peterson and his right the freedom of speech. It's the thought police. It's 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 Orwell Orwellian. Yeah. We we know it is. That's why we're here today. And uh, there is a great awakening happening. There is. There is. And you guys are a huge part of it. Thank you. Well, you know, we're here to fight against uh, yes. what they're doing and what the governments are doing, what the colleges are doing, what a lot of government. Uh, affiliated organizations are doing as well. He doesn't uh, talk about his patients. He doesn't discuss patients. Uh, it's not about his patients. This is not about him as a man, as a professional uh, clinical psychologist. This is about a man who sees what he sees in the world and finds injustice and speaks to it. He wants a society that functions. He wants structure and he knows what that is and he is standing for that and that's what they are attacking him for. I am sure there are left of center psychologists tweeting out opinions. They're not getting censured and I don't want to see them censured. So why the double standard? I don't want to see anyone censored. Yeah. I so want why the double standard here, sir? to speak for themselves and those beliefs that are ridiculous will eventually be exposed as for what they are. Anybody who exposes the truth becomes their target. It has nothing to do with controlling speech that causes harm. It has to do with exposing lies. I think because he's so inspirational and he's he's doing so much change that he's almost he's a threat to uh, the liberal government and to uh, the World Economic Forum. And uh, yeah, he's just it's it's actually astounding how much good he's done for the world. I think he's probably one of the the greatest Canadians to ever live. Trudeau and Jagmeet, they've both said that the government needs to handle misinformation. The government needs to handle, you know, um, social media tweets and posts, and it shows that they're trying to make an example out of a public figure for their own uh, vested interests. So what they're doing, they're suppressing uh, free expression, freedom of speech, and I believe that it's a political. It's all, it's all politicals. They, they want to impose their leftist orthodoxy to us, yes. and it won't, it, it won't it won't work because you know people are here today and I believe that Jordan Peterson will fight will do that legal fight and he has our support well there you have it folks this story will play out in the weeks and months ahead and as far as the uh, Ontario College of Psychologists is concerned I got to think they have picked the wrong fight Jordan Peterson is not one to bend the knee. We saw that several years ago when he took a stand against compelled speech at the University of Toronto. And as for his governing body investigating him for freedom of speech, for not being liberal enough, for not being woke enough, on whose behalf are they doing this? Is it for the woke mob on campus? Is it for the free speech thugs that comprise Antifa? It's an absolute disgrace. But like I said, if they want to fight, Dr. Jordan Peterson is going to give them one. And I know where my money 
is going to be placed when it comes to that brouhaha. For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Folks, are you outraged that the College of Psychologists of Ontario is going after Jordan Peterson for political wrong thought? Well, we are too. That's why please go to our new campaign website. It's SavePeterson.com. That's SavePeterson.com. You can give this college a quacks, a piece of your mind. And you know that? More than 7,000 of you have already had your emails sent to the college. This is about standing up for Dr. Jordan Peterson. This is about standing up for freedom of speech.